Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Henry from Fish Racing Technologies. Today we're going to show you our Jay-Z to CD009 transmission bell housing adapter kit, designed and manufactured right here in Chilliwack, BC, Canada. Once we have our setup mounted on the transmission, we'll be installing it in this 2003 IS300. Included in our Jay-Z CD adapter kit is a billet 4340 HDSR machine flywheel. This particular one is a single flywheel. We also offer a multi-disc application flywheel. This is the casted aluminum bell housing. It comes pre-installed with a Tilton HRB, stainless steel Goodrich lines, and our own in-house machined stainless steel pass-throughs with our own banjo bolts and a bleeder. For the inspection hole, there is also an aluminum inspection cover plate. Bolts for mounting the bell housing to the motor. ARP flywheel bolts. Just as a side note, these are customized in-house to shorten the length to accommodate our design. If you ever need another set, please simply order them from us and not via this part number because they are not the correct length and they will cause damage to your motor. Here we have the output bearing spacers. Depending on the year of transmission you have, it'll either be a 90 mil, 95 or 100 mil. You will simply just use whichever bearing you have to adapt to the correct size. This is the pilot bearing, an in-house machined adapter to accommodate the Jay-Z crank and an OEM Nissan oil light bushing installed in-house. Included with this kit is an OEM Nissan input shaft seal. This will get installed into the casted aluminum bell housing before mounting onto the transmission. Here we have a Nissan OEM bell housing gasket, energy suspension, transmission mount, and the two cutting guides. This one is designed to slip over the input shaft to allow you to trim it to the correct length needed for this kit. And this is a cutting guide for marking a line on the OEM CD009 transmission to help you cut in the right location. Now that we've gone over all the components included in this kit, let's get to work. Before we get going, I just want to go over the tools needed to cut this bell housing. First, we have an angle grinder with an aluminum specific zip disc, a flapper disc for deburring the sharp edges afterwards, the cutting guide for the output shaft, and the cutting guide and the Sharpie for drawing a line on the bell housing so we know where to cut. Now we're going to mark a cut line with a provided guide. Make sure that you are on the shifter side of the second rib. Before we start cutting, we're going to remove the OEM HRB. And we're going to plug up this vent hole here to prevent chips from getting inside the transmission.
And now we're going to use the uh, cut guide for the input shaft and trim it to the correct length. Once the input shaft has been cut to the right length, we want to use a flapper disc to put a nice chamfer on the shaft so that it easily slips into the pilot bearing. And now we're gonna remove the cover plate for the input shaft bearing. Now that the OEM bell housing has been removed off this transmission, we can start preparing the bell housing for installation and also determine what size bearing spacer we may need or if we don't need one at all. We've already gone ahead and checked out this bearing. This is a 100 millimeter bearing. It's a newer recent transmission. But if you're in doubt, simply just take a bearing spacer, hold it up to the bearing and see if it goes on. If it doesn't slip on, you simply don't need any of these spacers. If it does slip on, then that's the one you're gonna be using for this installation. Next, we're gonna be installing this input shaft seal into the bell housing. Before installing the bell housing gasket, be sure to apply RTV or gasket maker around the four bottom holes as these are exposed to oil. One thing to note that the bottom four bolts are a different color than the top bolts. You want to make sure that these are torqued at 13 or 14 foot-pounds of torque. We're now ready to mount the bell housing.
Before we drop the transmission in, we need to now install the pilot bearing, the flywheel and the clutch of course. To install the pilot bearing, um, you can use a bearing driver, a socket or anything that's smaller in diameter than the inside of the crank or slightly larger than the oil light pushing inside this adapter. Before installing the flywheel, make sure to apply this fastener assembly lubricant supplied with the ARP bolts to the head of the bolt. Once the assembly lubricant grease has been applied to all the bolts, it is time now to torque them down to 70 foot-pounds of torque. Now that the clutch is installed and torqued down, we are ready to drop the CD009 transmission back into this car. For those of you that are installing this transmission to an IS300 or similar chassis, we have some markings showing where we have had to uh, hammer the tunnel to clear this big gearbox. CD009 transmission and our bell housing is now installed, bolts in place, and we have a Goodrich stainless line going from the OEM fitting to the pass-through, snug down with two crush washers and our banjo bolt. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a shout.